Today, I'm going to take you step by step through how I do an oil change and put new oil filters on my Yamar diesel engines. First, I turn on both of my engines and let them run for about 20 to 25 minutes to heat up the oil and make it easier to filter out of the engine. While the engines run, we take some time to snuggle the puppies. Not a bad use of 20 minutes. It was a beautiful day out, but my engines had about 200 running hours on them, so it was time for an oil change. Time to go into the hole. Once I'm situated in the engine room, I pull the dipstick out just to check the oil level and the color of the oil. It was pretty dark and definitely time for an oil change. Then I clean off the dipstick, put that off to the side, and take the two oil caps off of the engine to make it easier to suck out the oil. Next, I grab my oil pump and I take the hose, extend the hose, and put the skinny end of the hose into the entry point of the oil dipstick. This is where I'm gonna remove the oil from the engine. Once I have everything cleaned off of oil and get in a good comfortable position, I start pumping out the oil. My engine takes about three liters of oil, so I'm expecting to pump that out so that I can replace it with new fresh oil. After about 10 minutes of pumping, I'm about halfway there, so I keep on pumping. While the oil pump is working, I use this time as an opportunity to check my transmission oil. I remove the cap, pull out the dipstick, and I want to check the level and color of the transmission oil. Looks good and clear, so no need to change that yet. During this time, I also want to give a look around the engine, make sure that everything looks good, connected, and that the engine floor is nice and clean, free of oil, coolant, and water. When the oil pump starts making a suctioning sound, it means all of the oil is out. So I pump the rest of the oil from the hose into the oil pump and put it away. Now it's time to put on the new oil filter. First, I shimmy my body down into the engine room and remove the old oil filter. If I've done a good job removing all the oil, there shouldn't be a mess here. Haha, -ha, success. Next up, I want to fill my new oil filter about a third of the way full with fresh oil and put some oil around the O-ring so it makes a good connection and it doesn't take too much to prime the system. Since my oil filter is a side mount, I can't fill it all the way up or I'll make a mess. A trick that I use to make sure that my engine is performing well with no leaks is to put a diaper or an oil absorbing pad underneath the engine. If it's free and clear of oil, coolant, and water, I know that my system doesn't have any leaks. So for this one, I'm looking good. I can put the diaper back under and check it the next time I do an oil change. It might look like it's easy to get in this position, but trust me, it is not. So while I'm down here, I use it as an opportunity to clean the floor of the engine room. I'm pretty particular about having a very clean engine room. With the new oil filter on and the engine room clean, now it's time to put in new oil into my engine. I grab a funnel, grab my 15W40, and start filling up the engine. I know that my Yanmar 3JH30 takes about 3 liters of oil, so I go ahead and start pouring, checking my dipstick along the way to make sure that I don't overfill the system. The dipstick has two indicator marks, one for a low level, one for high level of engine oil. Once the engine oil is in between those two marks, even closer to the higher mark, you know that you're good to go. Now it's time to clean up. We wipe off all the oil from the filter, put away the excess oil, put back on the oil caps, and the engine oil change and oil filter change are complete. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I look forward to servicing my engine and my boat again with you very soon.